What we're going to be working at here is how to graph absolute value inequalities. Absolute value inequalities. And what I want to do is show you guys a shortcut using a parent function so that when you guys see this in your homework, hopefully it'll go a little faster. What I mean by parent function is that all graphs of this type look the same. Let me show you what they look like. And in order to show you that, I've made an XY chart. I just chose these X values and I'm going to substitute in them, substitute them in to find the Y values. Like if I put negative 2 in there, absolute valueize it, I get positive 2. By the way, absolute valueize is not a real word. I kind of made that up just between you and me, but you can use it if you want to. Negative 1, absolute valueize becomes positive 1. Go through and fill it out like that, point by point. Then when you go to graph it, you'll see you get this really interesting shape. You get a V. What I did was plot the points negative 2, 2, negative 1, 1, like that. And then if you connect them, you'll see you get a V shape. Be careful, it's not a U, it's not a parabola. Some of you guys already know about that. This is a strict V, and that's really interesting. All absolute value graphs are going to have that shape. Now there's a couple other things to keep in mind. You know about inequalities. If it's one of these two signs, it's going to be a solid line. But when it's one of these two signs, it's going to be a dashed line. So I might have like a solid V, like in our case, or sometimes you're going to have a dash V. The last thing you guys know about inequalities is that there's some shading that happens. And the way you pick the shading is you get to choose any point you want to, any point that's not on your absolute value V. You substitute in your X and Y pairs and see if you get a true inequality or not. You're going to shade the parts that are true. Here's what I mean. Let's just say I picked the point 5, 1. I just randomly chose that point. You can use any point you want to. My X number is 5, my Y number is 1. I'm going to put that in here. Is it true that 1 is greater than the absolute, excuse me, greater than or equal to 5? No, that's not true. No. This point is a no. That means don't shade here. You want to shade the other part. Instead of shading outside, it told me don't shade outside, shade inside. What that means is that every single point inside of my V, if I were to plug in my X and Y pairs to this equation, inequality, I would get a true statement. So when you guys are working on these problems, there's a couple things to keep in mind I just want to summarize for you. The first thing is that all absolute value graphs have this V shape. The next thing is that all inequalities are either going to be solid, if they're in the greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, or they might be dashy. And then the last thing you have to remember to do is the shading. You pick a point that's not on your V, plug in the X and Y values, and find the area that has true statements, find the yeses.